what is going on people we are back we actually are here for an interesting video bro i actually want to know this i do want to know this it's called what one million dollar buys you around the world bro i gotta know this because wherever i want to live i gotta make sure i know this information because the cost of living is now crazy because back then in like the 60s 70s maybe before that houses were in the thousands now these joints is in the hundred thousands the millions depending on where you live bro it's crazy I want to know the information. Let's check it out. If you had a million dollars to spend on a house anywhere in the world, where would you choose to live? From the heart of London to the coast of South Africa, what you can actually get for your hard-earned cash varies as much as the places themselves. So pack up your stuff and call the movers because we're about to see what one million dollars buys you around the world. Spanish. Spanish serenity. Okay. To start our country hopping adventure, let's go to a popular vacation destination, the Costa del Sol in Spain. Spain. The average house price here is an eye-watering one million eleven thousand dollars right now. Average. On average, which means you can't live there if you don't have it, bro. That means you gotta be making more than a million dollars, bro. And for just a little less than that. You can snag yourself a classy four bedroom, four bathroom villa in a plush private estate near the coast. The property itself is light and airy, with a huge open plan kitchen, dining, living space, overseeing an outside area with its own pool. And if you get tired of lounging around, sipping cocktails, there's an on site clubhouse with a gym and social area, as well as a golf course nearby. But don't worry if you have no friends to go with. The villa is one of 34 in the estate. So there will be plenty of like-minded luxury... Okay, that's fine, but... What? There's not that many people that can make up to seven figures like that, bro. Let alone making well over 500000 There's not a lot. That's like the top 5% or 10%. Bro, $1 million for 700000 off that in that estate? You're not making enough. Just to meet when you're there. Or you could always or, uh, take me. Right, take me. Hong Kong high rise. Flying almost 7,000 miles east now, we reach the bustling city of Hong Kong. 7.5 million people live here, spread across just 427 square miles of land. Oh. That's over 17,500 people for every single square mile. Recently ranked as the second most expensive city in the world, it's incredibly dense population has led to sky high property prices. I mean, that's obvious. So, what kind of place can you hope to buy here with your cool million? How about a two bedroom apartment in Neo Horizon 2? Despite the name, it's no. not a cheesy 80s sci fi sequel. It's actually a trendy apartment complex on Lantau Island offering this. But if that unfurnished box, <coughs> sorry, living room, wasn't enough. There's also a tiny kitchen with a confusingly giant fridge. Oh my gosh, bro. To think we were bad? Hong Kong? They said 17.5 thousand people are there just for that small area. And a million dollars can only get you a two-bedroom apartment? Yeah, never going there. You, you won't ever see me. It takes up almost half the space. The whole bleak, bland place, including two bedrooms and a bite-sized bathroom, totals a measly 629 square feet and costs an insane $960,000. For comparison, that's half the size of the last property's basement. Okay, at least the location is decent, right by Discovery Bay Beach, but come on, you deserve better than this. Yeah, bro, because what? Because what? Cause what? That, that means you have to start off in Hong Kong and then go to the U.S. Because depending on how much they pay you in Hong Kong, if you go to the U.S., you're you're 1% at this point. Now, sadly, I can't give you a million dollars, but I can give you something for free. Subscription. Just hit those like and subscribe buttons and you'll have access to every last one of my videos. And it won't cost you a penny. Yeah, man, I'm a, yeah I already did that, my now guy. Now let's continue. I already did that, my guy. Y'all do that, too. Everything's coming up Millhouse. 
You've probably never heard of Nevis, a small, tranquil island in the Caribbean Sea. Let's go. And that's exactly why it's the perfect place to purchase a peaceful getaway home. This rustic three-bed villa used to be an 18th century sugar mill, but has since been renovated. Huh. And now resembles somewhere you might expect to see Bilbo Baggins bumbling around. The homely indoor spaces occupy four stories, and if you step outside, you can entertain guests on the impressively huge balcony. However, if partying's not your style, why not relax on the veranda with a good book instead, while enjoying those mystical mountain views? Venture past the veranda, and you'll find a private pool nestled amidst some mysterious stone ruins. I mean, I, I can understand why it, it's, it can cost that much, only because it's, it's been reliable for years. And they just want to make it like a um, historical building, but not enough space. I, I'm, at this point, I'm still convinced that Spain is the best bet, considering that you know a million dollars can put you in that in that great building. Well, not great building, great area. They're actually the remains of the old boiling house, where people would boil down liquid from processed sugar cane to make sugar. And they're probably not haunted. But coming in at $60,000 under budget, this place is so amazing that not even a ghost could scare me off. Okay. That's cool. Bonkers Brooklyn. Okay, let's go northwest from Nevis to the United States, specifically to the trendy New York borough of Brooklyn. The median price for a one-bedroom home in the Bay Ridge region, where our next property is, is $350,000. So, what do you think you can get for almost three times that? This. This is what you can get. It's a world apart from the sea views of Nevis, that's for sure. Admittedly, inside, it looks better. No! Three bathrooms and three bedrooms, and it's surprisingly spacious, covering over 2,300 square feet. But if you were hoping for a big green yard, well, at least you have some sort of outside space. Unlike this house, which is barely a few miles away in the neighboring... Oh my gosh, yo, this is making me so sick. This is making me so sick. You mean to tell me a million dollars in Brooklyn, New York gets you this? The cost of living in New York and Brooklyn has to be tremendously high, bro. Just to be in at least a decent spot. Bro of Sunset Park. If you thought the inside of the last place was a little lackluster... Look inside this one. Okay. Apparently there's five bedrooms and three bathrooms on sale here, but all I'm seeing is a whole lot of woodworm. And that's for $1.1 million? In that condition? The worms can keep it. Thanks. Yeah, it really can. Egyptian extravagance. See, that's better. Over in Egypt, you can't buy your own pyramid for $1 million, but you can get something a lot comfier. How about a gorgeous three-bed, okay. three-bath villa surrounded by palm trees overlooking the legendary Red Sea? Still not better than it Spain, but it'll do. It costs roughly $920,000. Okay. It has a sizable living room that opens out onto an outside bar with okay. a view of the private swimming pool. You could go for a leisurely swim, then hop out and grab yourself a drink before settling down and working on that tan. But with an upstairs lounge that leads straight out onto a spacious balcony, you don't even have to leave the house to get bronze. Uh, it's okay. Three for three for 960 isn't the ideal spot, but it's better than Brooklyn. But right now, Spain is still number one. The roof terrace adds even more outside space with a beautiful view of El Guna, the nearest town. Only a short walk away, you'll find plenty of entertainment, including a golf course, a movie theater, okay. and a whole array of water and land sports. <clears throat> Whether you want to relax or get active, you won't just be living like a king. You'll be living like a pharaoh. Okay, that's not bad. Okay. Affluence in Athens. Oh my gosh. From the land of pharaohs to the land of philosophy now, what kind of property can you expect for a million dollars in the Greek capital of Athens? Handily located near the center of the historic city, this ultra-modern, stylish apartment complex 
is scheduled to be finished in 2022. That's not bad. Almost bang on our budget. That's hard, yo. The architect. Though you don't get the whole building for that price. Oh, you well. do get almost 1,400 square feet of blindingly white open plan living space. I mean, I think it would take me about 30 seconds before something was irreversibly stained forever. Fortunately, the floor is made from marble in some rooms and wood paneling in others. So at least it's only the furniture that would be in danger. If okay, that I, I, that's not bad. That's not bad. This is okay, but I think they should drop the price on that. If you're not able to take the entire building, get, drop it down to maybe like 500 grand managed to avoid spilling anything though it's a stunningly swanky apartment and has a super sleek balcony overlooking the city with your own personal hot tub however if you don't mind being away from the capital you could scoop up an entire villa on the greek island of mykonos for the same price it may not look as swanky but it comes with a private pool plus a vast 25,000 square feet of land Okay. Are you a city dweller at heart or a country bumpkin through and through? Okay. Let me know down in the comments below. Okay. Okay. It's doable. Shed shocker. During the COVID-19 pandemic, house prices in cities around the world fell as lockdown restrictions meant many people simply couldn't move. But in Toronto, house prices soared by an average of $100,000 from 2019 to 2020. This is because the city currently has record low interest rates on mortgages, encouraging buyers and raising competition in a time where usually they'd be discouraged. As well as this, every house purchase is heavily taxed, which can add thousands and thousands of dollars to a purchase. All this means the average house price now rests at over $1 million. And that's why in 2020, this went on sale for the full million. Nope. Oh my God, bro. These jokers gave you a shed for a whole smooth mill in Toronto. You're not seeing me there either. I'm not joking. It looks more like a shed than an actual house, but somehow, Two bedrooms and a bathroom have been crammed in. In a TARDIS-like twist, it does look slightly bigger on the inside. I don't care. The cramped gloominess. Bro, look at the stove. Look at the fridge. The Joker, look at the floor. It don't even look connected, bro. No. It's off a real basement dweller vibe, doesn't it? Amusingly, it was listed as a rare detached bungalow. Which I guess is true. What's that supposed to in mean? This case, though, Destroy the building. Is not interchangeable with quality. Okay, so you could argue you're paying for the location and the land, but if I'm spending a full seven figures, I want more than a single shack. I'm afraid this. Yeah, you're gonna have to give me at least twenty of those, fifty of those for a million. That don't look like it's only worth uh uh, uh twenty grand a year for people who make that much. That's minimum wage out here. Oh man, that's sick. That's true. Cause I'm actually I'm at this point where I feel like, like I said, they probably pay you more, but the cost of living versus like if it, if you compare the prices to the U.S., they probably pay you more, but it's not worth that much. It's a firm Toronto no from me. Venetian variation. The iconic Italian floating city of Venice is built across 118 separate islands, with canals running between them all. But to live in the heart of the famously romantic city, you'll need money, not love. Yikes. With a budget of $1 million, you can just about afford this two-bedroom apartment at around $880,000. And although it looks nice, there's not a lot of bang for your buck here. Coming in just shy of 1,200 square feet, with no yard, yard or balcony, and this questionably tasteful bathroom, let's see if we can't beat that by going a little further out. Just a few miles northeast of Venice's center, you'll find the peaceful island of Mazorgo, famous for its vineyards and ancient Benedictine monastery. The island has a gorgeous three-bed villa for sale overlooking a lagoon. Sheesh. And for the same price as central Venice, you'll snag yourself an extra 2,000 square feet of space. 
The inside is rustic and homely, with a stone fireplace to keep you warm in the winter, and an absolutely massive attic, which looks like a bedroom, dining room, and lounge all in one. Take a walk outside, however, and you'll find the real beauty. A backyard big enough to be your own private park. If you follow the path over a bridge and Bro. under a magical archway, complete with your very own vineyards. Bellissimo. Bro. Do buy or don't buy. I'm dead. If you head over to Dubai to spend your fortune, you'll find all of the properties here ooze opulence, regardless of whether they are in the city. Further out in the Damak Hills area, you can get this huge, snazzy modern villa for less than $900,000. Not only is it light and spacious, but it also comes with built-in smart home yes. technology. Yes. So you can control everything from the lights yes. to the fridge from one hub. The backyard yes. feels a bit boxed in, which won't be for everyone, but the built-in barbecue area and I would love to live in Dubai. If you can get all that for 900 or 800 like you said, just for having a meal, that's doable. That's so doable. Kill out zones more than make up for it. Want to live in the chaos of the city, though? Well, if you go to the central Jumeirah district, you'll get significantly less in terms of real estate. But you won't miss out on any of the luxurious. Yeah, I mean, at nine hundred ninety-four thousand dollars, this three-bed apartment is more expensive and significantly smaller than the Damak Hills. I mean, I'm not surprised but because the it's... lobby alone is a sight to behold. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It's You're like in the, the city. Actual apartment. It's a little more toned down, but if a king had to live in a flat, this is definitely the one they'd choose. And while it's small in comparison to a villa, it's got some pretty spacious rooms all adorned with that amazing modern Arabic design. Throw a jaw-dropping view of the surrounding city in, and I could maybe bring myself to forgive the lack of outdoor space. However, it's fine. It's no yard, no deal, you're better off on the edges of Dubai. It's fine. Unlike many cities, though, this doesn't necessarily mean it'll be cheaper. This villa, which is far from central, will set you back more than twice the amount of the previous two properties. Okay, I understand. $2 million. But, but for that, you're getting a massive 11,500 square feet to play with. That's fine. Which is more than double that's the doable. space of the last two combined. Despite all these expensive properties dominating the market, they'd be a whole lot more expensive if the COVID pandemic hadn't hit Dubai that looks very creepy. so hard. So, with now being a better time than ever to get on the property ladder there, my advice to you is do buy. Do buy. Bruh. Singapore, sing a rich. Like Dubai, the Southeast Asian city state of Singapore is one of the most developed cities in the world. On average, homes here cost a whopping $1.5 million. However, if you're savvy, you can find them for less. This executive condo in the Ecopolitan Residence Complex costs nine hundred thousand dollars, and although it doesn't. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. So I think that's why I was a little confused about about uh, Spain, because if the average home costs that much, that means the cost of living is way too high. Like you're not gonna get much for a million, at all. So Singapore does look nice, but for one point five million just to live in homes like that, that's pretty high. That's like. It's up there. Like the snazziest. It's got a nice balcony area as well as three bedrooms and bathrooms. The main draw of living here is definitely the Ecopolitan complex itself, though. From the apartment's balcony, you can see the complex's huge shared pool, and beside the pool is the. Wait, what's that? This gargantuan metal building looks like it's been taken straight out of science fiction, but Bruh. it's actually the clubhouse. Residents can meet here to relax, grab a bite to eat, or go to the gym. You yes. can also wander the complex's seven different themed zones. These range from a zen forest chill-out spot to a pavilion where you can grab a bite to eat as you look up at the stars. Maybe if you get lost in the sky long enough, you'll forget how much money you're paying for that substandard apartment. I mean, it's worth it. It's completely worth it. If you're making that, if you're rich, you deserve that, boy. Colombian chaos. Did you know that Cali is actually in South America? Not California, Cali, the most populated city in Southwest Colombia. 
and slap bang in the center of the city, you'll find the $1 million La Casa de Sus Sueños. Start of a 10 lot condo, this stunning home <coughs> offers 6,000 square feet of living space. It's not bad. Nestled on more than 113,000 square feet or two football fields worth of private gardens. That's not Floor bad. ceiling glass windows and marble floors give the inside a bright, luxurious vibe. And up the stairs, you'll find palatial-sized bedrooms and an airy chill-out zone. There's also a two-car garage, but the owner says he fit 30 cars in there before while hosting a party. Um, for his guests, ants? Regardless, if you host a party, make sure nobody falls off the edge of that oddly unguarded balcony. Okay. Unless, of course, you invite ants. They wouldn't feel a thing if they fell. Ah... Yeah, suddenly it makes sense. Californian Cribs. When you think of houses in the sunny state of California, you might think of fancy hillside condos, luxury villas, and massive mansions. But you're gonna need a lot more than a million dollars if you wanna own any of those. What you could get though. Okay, so speaking of Columbia, uh, one million for that? Not Colombian, Cali. That's not bad for a million. Um, but at the end of the day, two car garage fitting, what do you say? 30 cars in there. That's kind of weird. Is this? That's right. While Snoop Dogg laughs at you from his huge 4,000 square foot mansion, you'll be busy trying not to bump into literally everything in your pathetic 856 square feet of hell. Yep. More of a shack than a house, its location in central Los Angeles, which has a median listing price of $1,050,000. Bro, this is LA? No, 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 no. This is LA? This is LA? I will never, even though I'm claiming that I, I will be, you know, rich before 26, I will never live over there if I'm making seven, fig seven figures. ...has definitely contributed to its unbelievable $933,000 price tag. That's sick. No matter sick. how good the location is, it can't be worth That's living here, right? Sick. Other than the complete lack of space, everything looks like it's been abandoned for at least 40 years. Oh, and even though it's listed as having two beds, get this. They're bunk beds. That's Incredibly, sick. somebody bought this recently for eight hundred fifteen thousand dollars, and that's just over one hundred thousand dollars less than it was originally listed at. Bro. If after that you've decided LA's just not for you, you could always try Northern California's biggest city, San Jose. This place looks okay, doesn't it? Zero furnishings and pretty small, but anything looks like a mansion after that last property. Well, even with one million dollars, you couldn't afford this because it's almost one one million two hundred thousand dollars. <sighs> Due to an ongoing recession, people have been unwilling or unable to list their properties, which has resulted in fewer being put on the market. That's because to think that I wanted to go to LA for my birthday or to to, to be on vacation. For something like that to cost a million dollars, you have to save for maybe a good five years just to get something decent. That's sick, bro. Changing prices up. So maybe you're better off buying in a different state Very entirely. Much. Deal in Detroit. Over in Detroit, it's a very different story. The Michigan City used to be known for its booming automobile industry. But okay. when this fell into decline in the 1970s, many people lost their jobs and left the city. Today, there are lots of empty buildings, which has meant house prices have plummeted from the lack of competition. In other words, it's a great time to buy. In central Detroit, you can snag yourself this fully renovated 19th century mansion for a little under $1 million. Its incredible exterior architecture with a crazy interconnected balcony system hides a simple, modern interior. For a mansion, it's a modest 2,200 square feet with three bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms. But with such a central city- That looks a little too old school for me. That's too traditional, bro. That literally looks like how they were living back then, bro. Like, I'm not spending no million on that house. I'm sorry. Location, it's a bargain. 
Having said that, I'd rip the tropical bird-themed wallpaper in this bathroom straight down. This place can only be so cheap. Hello, Ohio. About okay. 200 miles south of Detroit, you'll find the city of Dayton, Ohio. Similar to Detroit, a shrinking population has seen the median house price drop to around $184,000 here, over a third cheaper than the national average. This means if you don't mind buying a house a little further away from the city, you can find some truly terrific deals. This mansion on the eastern edge of the city just sold for slightly under $1 million and comes with an astonishing 400,000 square feet of land, okay. which is over six football pitches. As well as the pool, there's also a sizable barn with attached conservatory, okay. so you can grow your own carrots and feed them to your hungry horses. Inside the mansion itself, things Ooh. are no less lavish. One of the five bathrooms looks more like a hotel sauna, okay. and elsewhere you'll find five spacious bedrooms. Okay, I need you to clean that room. Beautiful wood-paneled living room and a huge, yet homely, kitchen dining area. The only thing this place is missing is its own helicopter pad. Yeah. That's not bad. Sydney Stunners. Ah, uh, Sydney, Australia. The land of blistering beaches, ostentatious opera houses, and excessively expensive housing. If you want value for money here, you're going to have to drive a good two and a half hours from the city itself. Jeez. After that, you'd be greeted with this super stunning manor house, blending both Georgian and Victorian architecture for around $930,000. Stained glass front doors open into a lovely little lobby area, and the open plan kitchen features a huge island worktop as well as a rustic fireplace. The whole five bedroom property is adorned with such outrageously fancy furniture that you'll feel like you're back in the 18th century, about to drop your new sick opera track. But if you feel like an opera star in the country, you're more likely to feel like a pauper in the city center. This <laughs> tiny one-bed house in what? Sydney's popular Camper Town district recently sold for $1.2 mm -mm. mm -mm. Just wait till you see the inside. Oh, God. Even that great big hole in the ceiling somehow wasn't enough to put the buyer off. For the cherry on top, the agents were apparently warned about the squatters before the first inspection. Because, you know... Nothing will quite put off a potential buyer like a strange man lurking in the bathtub. I'm not gonna say nothing. A million, though. Carl. In Sydney. Now, if you cross the Indian Ocean from Australia, you'll find the beautiful South African town of Parle, near Cape Town. Nelson Mandela spent the last three years of his imprisonment in a bungalow here that while pretty nice for a prison, wasn't anything on this ultra-modern villa. For just over $915,000, you could wow a load of guests with your huge living that's, room, that's equipped fair. with equally huge couches and TV. Okay. They might think you're overcompensating for something, but you won't care as you pour yourself another delectable drink at the bar. That's so, Nobody's that's going so. to turn down a dip in that incredibly inviting pool either. And if it gets a little chilly, there's a fire pit right next to it. Or you could just go back inside. The whole house has underfloor heating, as well as surround sound in the ceilings. So once you're warm, oh, you can get down and Africa? dance the night away whichever room you're in. Mm -hmm. It won't be any old pool party. It'll be a parl party. Yeah. Sure. Picturesque Portugal. The Algarve region in southern Portugal is a hot spot for tourists and people looking to permanently move alike. Despite having some of the highest property prices in the country, for just under $1 million, you can purchase this traditional style villa. Set high up on a hill in the countryside, it's more like a castle than a villa, with insane views across the vast rolling landscape. Inside, the design is quirkily quaint, with curved ceilings, wood furnishings, and a whole lot of armchairs. But the outside space is the real star of the oh. show. Descend to the sweeping staircase and you're greeted with a bright blue pool, enclosed by rustic stone walls. A criminally cute bar overlooks the area, 
So when you inevitably get sunburned, you can cool off in the much needed shade it provides. And there's not one, but two pizza ovens hiding back there. With nobody else around for miles, why not fire them both up and sit there with a pizza in each hand like a true king? Just imagine where Ronaldo lives. Just put this, let that sink in. Britain. It's time to head to the land of Shakespeare, the Beatles, and copious amounts of tea. But the UK also has some pretty nice property if you know where to look. This Georgian manor in Cambridgeshire sits nestled in a sea of green plains, which makes its gorgeous red brick walls look bloody brilliant. For $960,000, there are an impressive eight bedrooms packed into nearly 4,000 square feet. No. And one of them is even in its own little indoor chalet. No. The old school wooden brick dining room is a treat for the eyes, too. No. The only problem is, with all those cupboards, I'd never remember where I'd put my edible treats. But if you can't stand country life and want the thrill of the city, then prepare to get a lot less for your money. Oh. Here in the oh. center of London, we have what's been listed as a <clears throat> unique home. Well, I can't argue with that. Measuring a minuscule six feet across in some parts, it doesn't even look possible that anyone could live here. No Walking way. through the door, you're immediately met with a cramped spiral staircase and a long corridor-like walk to the uh, living room. There's barely space for one person, let alone the two this house apparently accommodates. The kitchen is no less tight, although the Yo. dining room does a slightly better Yo. job with the sad amount of... These UK YouTubers have to be making bank. Wow. Space ...available. So, how much do you reckon it costs to live in this glorified cupboard? As it turns out, this place recently sold for a ridiculous $1.3 million dollars. Considering you can get an entire mansion with literal fields of land for less, it blows my mind that anyone would pay that much. Bro, but at least it didn't blow a hole in my wallet. I would not mind sitting there for driving two hours. Croatian elation. That's better. Moving across the channel now and into southern Europe. Europe. Let's see what sunny Croatia has to offer. The country has been coming out of a deep six year long recession. And though house prices are rising again, they are still relatively cheap. For about $5,500 under budget, now's the time to snap up this beachside bad boy. Down on the coast by the town of Trogir, the Villa Sensimar is in the final stages of being built. So you could live in a magnificent modern masterpiece that's completely untouched. That's tough. Five beds and five baths means there's plenty of space for guests. That's tough. And the outside has both a pool and table tennis, which means when your guests beat you for the 10th time in a row, you can jump straight into the water to cool off about the whole situation. I'm oh, and the living room might just have the biggest couch I've ever seen. What you're gonna need after pumping all that iron in your own personal gym. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, that's the end of our... Looks like I choose Europe. Of all places, I chose Europe. I will live to Europe. If I, if I ever got a meal, choosing Europe. All right, that is the end of the video. I apologize for how many times I paused the video. I feel like this has been a long video. But make sure you comment, like, subscribe down below. The link to the original videos is down below. It's your boy Black Finesse, we out.